Hello everybody. Welcome back to LA. The Ideal English School. In this lesson, we're going to focus on the present perfect continuous tense, one of the 16 tenses, and we're also going to look at the active and passive voice of this tense, and the difference between the present perfect continuous tense and the present perfect tense. Let's look at all the 16 tenses again. The present simple tense, the present continuous tense, the present perfect tense, the present perfect continuous tense. The past simple tense, the past continuous tense, the past perfect tense, the past perfect continuous tense. The future simple tense, the future continuous tense, the future perfect tense, the future perfect continuous tense. The past future simple tense, the past future continuous tense, the past future perfect tense, the past future perfect continuous tense. The present perfect continuous tense. Active voice. Have, or has, been teaching. Passive voice. Have, or has, been being taught. The active present perfect continuous tense is formed by using have, or has, plus been, plus present participle. Active voice, affirmative. First person singular. I have been waiting for you since two o'clock. First person plural. We have been waiting for you since two o'clock. Second person singular or plural. You have been waiting for them since two o'clock. Third person singular. Tom has been waiting for you since two o'clock. Third person plural. They have been waiting for you since two o'clock. Note that when, you, is used to refer to the person that you are speaking or writing to, it is singular, but when, you, is used to refer to the people that you are speaking or writing to, it is plural. The negative of the present perfect continuous tense is formed by, putting, not after have, or has. For example, they have not been visiting us since February. Or, they haven't been visiting us since February. He has not been feeling very well lately. Or he hasn't been feeling very well lately. The interrogative of the present perfect continuous tense is formed by, putting the auxiliary verb, have, or has, in front of the subject. For example, has she been waiting for a long time? Have you been doing anything interesting recently? How long have you been waiting? How long has she been living here? The present perfect continuous tense is used. 1. To talk about an action that started in the past, and is still continuing. For example, I've been studying since 8 o'clock. I'm still studying now. How long have you been learning English? You are still learning English now. He has been living in Jakarta since he left school. She's been working at the local hospital for a long time. I've been watching that program every week since it started. The company went through a bad time last year, but lately things have been improving. Just recently I've been thinking about changing my job. What have you been doing? I've been cooking. My sister hasn't been feeling well for two weeks. Jane hasn't been visiting us since February. I haven't been playing this game for an hour, only for 15 minutes. 4. Is not used before, all day, all morning, all week, all my life, etc. For example. I've been studying all morning. Don't say I've been studying for all morning. He has been living in Jakarta all his life. Don't say he has been living in Jakarta for all his life. 4. Plus a period of time. For 25 minutes, for 2 hours, for 5 days. For 3 weeks, for the past week, for the last 2 weeks. For ages, or for years, for a long time, for a few days, etc. Since plus a specific point in the past. Since 2 o'clock, since Friday, 
since February 7. Since January, since Christmas, since he came. Since five days ago, since two years ago. Since 2018, etc. Two. To talk about an action that started in the past, and has just stopped. The past action may have a present result. For example, I'm very tired because I've been working hard all day. It's been raining, and the streets are still wet. He is exhausted because he's been running. Where have you been? I've been looking for you everywhere. Sorry I'm late. Have you been waiting long? How long have you been waiting? I've been waiting for you for over an hour. I've been working hard. Now I'm going to have a break. You don't understand because you haven't been listening. 3. To talk about repeated actions. For example, he's been suffering from bad headaches for the last few days. I've been having interviews all year but I still don't have a job. She has been calling me a lot lately. They've been going out a lot recently. I've been getting this magazine every week for over a year. 4. To express anger, irritation, or annoyance. For example, she has been shouting at me for over an hour. Someone has been reading my emails. Who has been using my makeup? Who has been using my electric toothbrush? Why have you been disturbing me? The dog next door has been barking all the time. 5. To talk about temporary actions. For example, for the past two weeks, I've been doing my boss's job while she's away on business. I usually work in Jakarta but I've been working in Palembang for the last three weeks. I'm having my room renovated so I've been sleeping on the sofa. Usually I study at home, but I've been studying in the library for the last two weeks. They've been living here with us while looking for a house. 5. There's little or no difference in meaning between, the present perfect continuous tense, and the present perfect tense, when these two tenses are used with live, work, teach, or study. For example, I have been living in Paris for a long time. I have lived in Paris for a long time. How long have you been working here? How long have you worked here? He's been working at the same store for over 10 years. He's worked at the same store for over 10 years. I've been teaching English since 2005. I've taught English since 2005. I've been studying Chinese for five years. I've studied Chinese for five years. Note that, the verb be, and the following verbs which are called stative or state verbs, cannot be used or are not normally used in the continuous tenses. Agree, appear, believe, belong, concern, consist, Contain, cost, depend, deserve, disagree, dislike, doubt, fit, hate, have, include, involve, know, like, look, love, matter, mean, mind, need, own, possess, prefer, resemble, seem, smell, sound, suppose, taste, understand, want, weigh, wish. Don't say I've been being here for a few days. Say I've been here for a few days. Don't say I've been being rather busy lately. Say I've been rather busy lately. Don't say the weather has been being nice lately. Say the weather has been nice lately. Don't say I've been having this car for a year. Say I've had this car for a year. Don't say he's been having a cold for the past week. Say he's had a cold for the past week. Don't say we've been knowing each other since 2002. Say we've known each other since 2002. Don't say we've been understanding everything. Say we've understood everything. 
Don't say she's been owning this house for five years. Say she's owned this house for five years. Don't say I've been hearing a lot about you recently. Say I've heard a lot about you recently. Don't say he's been belonging to the golf club for over 10 years. Say he's belonged to the golf club for over 10 years. The difference between the present perfect continuous tense and the present perfect tense. Compare. The present perfect continuous tense is used to focus on an activity itself which may or may not be finished, or to talk about how long something has been happening. The present perfect tense is used to focus on the result, or completion of an activity, or to talk about how much, how many, or how many times. He's been painting his room and everything is upside down. He's painted his room and now it appears bigger. She's been cooking dinner and it'll be ready soon. She's cooked dinner. It's ready now. You've been eating too much cake. You should eat less. Somebody's eaten all my cake. I've been driving since I was 18. I've driven all the way here without a break. I have been reading since 1 o'clock. I have read three books since 1 o'clock. He has been gardening all day. He has planted several new saplings. How long have you been reading that book? How many chapters of that book have you read? She's been writing emails all day. She's written 15 emails today. We've been playing tennis since 2 o'clock. We've played tennis twice today. He's been driving for 3 hours. He's driven 200 kilometers so far. The guests have been arriving since 5 o'clock. Tom and Jane have arrived, they're in the living room. Sales have been increasing for some time. The price of oil has increased by 25% in the last two years. The pollution problem has been getting worse over the last decade. The population has grown from 40 million in 1990, to 52 million today. The active and passive voice of the present perfect continuous tense. Active sentence. The subject or the doer of the action, I, have, or has, plus been, plus present participle, have been washing. The object or the recipient of the action, my car. I have been washing my car. The subject or the doer of the action, he, have, or has, plus been, plus present participle, has been washing. The object or the recipient of the action, his car. He has been washing his car. Only transitive verbs can be used in the passive voice. The passive voice of the present perfect continuous tense is formed by have, or has, plus been, plus being, plus past participle. Passive sentence. The subject or the recipient of the action, his car. Have, or has, plus been, plus being, plus verb 3, has been being washed, by, plus the agent, or the doer of the action, by him, his car has been being washed by him. Note that, the present perfect continuous tense, is hardly ever used in the passive voice. Now let's look at the past participle of the regular verbs. Verb 1, the base form, or the infinitive. Checked. Verb 2, or the past tense. Checked. Verb 3, or the past participle. Checked. Construct, constructed, constructed. Play, played, played. Shout, shouted, shouted. Next. Let's take a look at the past participle of the irregular verbs. Verb 1, the base form, or the infinitive. Do. Verb 2, or the past tense. Did. Verb 3, or the past participle. Done. Drive, drove, driven. Think, thought, thought. Write, wrote, 
written. In the active voice, the subject, or the doer is the person or thing that has been performing the action of the verb, and the object, or the recipient is the person or thing that has been receiving the action. For example, active voice, subject, or doer of the action, plus have, or has, plus been, plus present participle, plus object, or recipient of the action. John has been cleaning the window. In the passive voice, the object or the recipient of the action in the active sentence becomes the subject in the passive sentence, and therefore the subject is no longer the doer of the action of the verb, but is now the recipient of the action. For example, passive voice, subject, or recipient of the action, plus have, or has, plus been, plus being, plus verb 3, or past participle, plus by plus agent, or doer of the action. The window has been being cleaned by John. The present perfect continuous tense is almost always used in the active voice. She's been making a cake, and that's why the kitchen is such a mess. My hands are very dirty because I've been fixing my car. How long have you been playing this game? I've been playing this game since 1 o'clock. Why are your clothes so dirty? What have you been doing? The passive voice is used especially when we want to emphasize the object, or the recipient of the action. Or when the doer of the action is unknown, unimportant, obvious, etc. Therefore, the doer of the action, or the agent is often omitted in the passive sentence. For example, the road has been being repaired since three days ago. A new water treatment plant has been being constructed since February. If we want to show the agent, we use by, plus the agent. For example, my room has been being painted by my younger brothers since one o'clock. Avoid using the present perfect continuous tense in the passive voice. Most people wouldn't use it because they think it is unnatural. Therefore, it's better to use the active present perfect continuous tense, unless it's absolutely necessary to use the passive voice. Sometimes you can try to find another way of expressing that idea, that is, to find an active verb that means the same as the passive one. For example, you can say, the new bridge has been under construction since January, instead of, the new bridge has been being constructed since January. Although these two sentences are different, that is, one is in the present perfect tense in the active voice, the other in the present perfect continuous tense in the passive voice, they mean the same thing. Now, do this exercise. Directions, for each question, there are four choices, and only one of them is correct. Write down the correct answers on a piece of paper. You have two minutes to complete this exercise.
Check your answers. Question 1. A. Feeling. She has been feeling tired for the past few days. Question 2. C. Chatted. So far she's chatted to 30 different people online. Question 3. C. Been reading. Yes, I've been reading the book, but I haven't finished reading it yet. Question 4. B. Have had. I have had a cold for the last two weeks. Question 5. A. Been cooking. She's been cooking dinner and it'll be ready soon. Question 6. A. Read. How many pages of that book have you read? Question 7. A. Have been. I have been here for a few days. Question 8. D. Been studying. I've been studying all morning. Question 9. D. Has been. The weather has been nice lately. Question 10. B. Increased. Food prices have increased by 15% in the last six months. Well, that's the end of this lesson, thanks for watching. If you like this video lesson, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel.